and hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rising World with yours truly, The Hermitude. <laughs> Alright guys, so what this game is, it's an indie game that's in development, it's been in development, it's in Alpha Zero Nine. okay, you know what, it's just an Alpha, okay, you can see it down here in the corner. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's get this game fired up with you guys, alright? Let's double click on this. This is season four of this game. If you guys aren't familiar with Rising World, it's a game you really should take a look at. It has a lot more flexibility than Minecraft, but it doesn't have the ability for, like, farming animals. But you can farm anything else. There's a no electricity in the game. Last episode, we got mauled by an elk, and we took a nap. <laughs> and we're on our way back home, so let's try not to uh, fight the local wildlife again. Um, animals like cows and chickens and that, yeah, we can go ahead and fight. But what we did last episode, wow, that was kind of a bit stupid on my part. So let's go ahead and let's get going home. We're going to hit the M button. And here we go. So now we're just going to be headed home. Where we go. Uh, yeah. Alright. So we're headed all the way back home. And we're almost there. We're almost there. So. Let's just aim myself up correctly here. And let's just get going. You know. Get back home. This is what the cave generation is like in the game right now. Hopefully it changes down the road. It's not the best in the world. Ah. Cheaty melon. Give me some melons. Yep. There we go. <laughs> so when we first started this game out, we was in the mountains and you got cherry trees, you got fruit trees in the game. Actually got real legit fruit trees. Sometimes it's worth checking out. There's little dungeons. Like we didn't build that right there. That's there by default. <laughs> it's a part of the game. You'll find bear, you'll find deer, you'll find elk, you got pigs, you got cows, you got sheep. There's a whole mess of different animals in this game. A whole mess of them. Just checking out my... See where we're at. We got our crossbow. You can see our guy reloading it. Or was he trying... Uh, he reloaded it already while we were running. Nice. But we should be on our way back to base. We found out... We found the one thing that we were missing, and I'm happy to see that we are almost home. It has been a while since we have been back to base, and we need to get going. Because we got a lot of building that we got to do. And we also got lots of new subscribers to the channel. Lots of new subscribers. You can see the water mechanics in the game. They're not quite done yet. Hopefully we can get flowing water in the game soon rather than later there we go try not to fall down these gigantic holes we've died plenty of times already <laughs> all right looks like we gotta head up this way you see cows come in variants we got cows we got bulls heck we can shoot them if we want to and you get beef sometimes i think you can get ribs off these guys one shot usually kills them but you know what? Let's stop wasting our arrows on this guy. Yeah. We'll leave you go. We'll just leave you be. <laughs> We're headed home, sweetheart. Don't worry about us. Leave the cows. Leave the pigs. Leave the chickens. This game got a ton of... It's got all the animals that you can possibly think of in it. We found elephants. We found giraffes. We found some tigers and lions and bears and wow, guys. It's been a great adventure. And for those of you that have just subscribed to the channel, head on over to uh, risingworld.com. I mean, head on uh, over to Steam, go to risingworld.net and see about getting this game for yourself. You know, it's relatively cheap. I think last time I checked it, it was like $20, but... uh Admittedly, it's been a while. Price may have changed. Last time I bought it, it was $20. I got it on G2A for like uh, $7, I think. 
So, yeah. Give it a shot. You might like it. Alright, we're almost home. We're almost home. Dead ahead. Yeah, I know where we're at. Dead ahead. And we could also take a look at our tree farm on our way home, too. See how that thing's been doing. Oh, my goodness. Home! Yes, we can see it. So this entire mountain range over here, what our goal is, is to turn it into one massive, gigantic fortress. Yeah. Sounds kind of impossible, doesn't it? And it looks like our tree farm has done good while we were away. I believe this is my tree farm. Is it? Uh, no. Well, home is up here. <laughs> Let's just go. Yeah, I'm happy. We're back. We're finally home. Let's just get up and over this hill here. And you guys should be able to see base. Oh, it's been so long since we've been over here. Hopefully we don't get lost getting in. You can see we got ores. We got gold. We got... Well, that wasn't gold. That was copper over there. That's copper. This is aluminum. We got a little bit of silver. We got some coal in the mountainsides. Yeah. So basically, our goal is to replace this entire mountain ridge with... <laughs> It's just to replace it with a massive fortress. And I have been waiting forever to get back home. And we should be coming up on it. <gasps> Which gulch is this? Is this Scorpio Gulch? Are we home? We found it. Scorpio Gulch. Aw, yeah. So what this is, guys, wow. We really did have to come in over here, didn't we? Uh. Just don't get hurt. Easy down. Easy down. Easy down. Easy. Ah, oh, home. And our inventory is full. <laughs> so, now that we're back home, that right there is the pass that we were supposed to take. <laughs> and I'll show you guys the tree farm here in a minute. Let me, uh, let me clear my inventory out, but I also want to yeah, let me pause this, guys. I'm going to empty my inventory, and I'll show you, give you a little tour of it. You know what? Why should we wait? Why should we wait? I give you guys a tour as we come around. So we're building walls to come up around the sides here. Um, eventually, from like right up here, coming across, is going to be like a nice courtyard going up. And we'll have other peaks and things. We're going to try to make everything like even with the mountainsides on itself. But not symmetrical as you can see. Looks nice. It does. We've put a lot of work into this so far. A lot of work. Um, we dug little holes and clefts in the walls and in the ceilings and everything. Um... Yeah, I kind of went myself in a big circle. Hit L button here for a moment. If you're curious as to what that light is from, we got ourselves a mining helmet on our head. <laughs> got a mining helmet. We got some sunglasses on and just enjoying it. I thought I missed a turn. Yeah, right here. Bloop. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, you can go down around this way. You come down there around this way, but I'm going to take you guys around and show you the shop. Lots of new subscribers, and I am so happy. Thank you guys all for subscribing. Thank you. This right here is our smeltery shop. Of course, we're going to open the door and we're going to get pushed by it. We do got this inside here. It makes gravel. We could put stone in there if we had any and just push it around and like this. And you get gravel. Well, that's how it's supposed to work, but right now... Oh, it only goes one way. Alright, well, let's get that arm out of the way here for us. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. We got the arm out of the way. Inside of here, we got ourselves our anvil. We got ourselves a coal furnace, a place for coal. We got a lot more ore in here. We got, let's see here, we got some tungsten. We got some, what is this, copper. We got iron, I believe that is. Yeah, like... A few stacks of that. We got some aluminum. 
and our furnaces. <laughs> I mean, we just load the coal in over here on the side, right inside of these little hole pockets right here. Pretty nice. We got our, uh, what, this is a different type, all right? We got wood planks, we got wood beams, we got glass panes, and we needed sand for this, and I finally found a desert, and, well, yeah. It's just nice. This is basically your construction beams and bought your blocks, your beams, your wood and stuff, things like that. Now, this doesn't start there. All right. These are also construction materials. So this is two stone variants. If we come over here, you look at stone bricks, you scroll down, you get all these different types of things. Now, let's select this for a moment. Right now, if we go across, you can see we got pyramids. We got ramp inner corners. We got ramp half corners ramp corners stair inner corners it, it, it just goes on and on and different stair types and so we got some arcs if you want to maybe add a uh if you want to make a uh well i'll show you in a moment um here we go you see all these different blocks and slabs and yeah in every single one of these materials in here, all right, every single one of these, they all got their own. You got wood planks, scroll down through all these different wood planks you can build from. So if you wanted to build your house out of blocks, you can build your house out of blocks. If you wanted to go advanced, you can come over here and build stuff out using these. But our inventory is kind of full at the moment. <laughs> um, inside of here, we basically got ingot storage. But all of this is going to be moved. I never did move it from the last time we played. So, yeah. It's basically our new crafting hall. Over back in here, we got... This is where our ingot storage is going to be. We come down through here. Because it was a cave. And it's kind of neat. And we made a storage unit back here for it. Alright, so each and every single one of these. Like, the iron goes up there. And we'll put coal and copper inside some of these other ones. It just a lot of different ore in the game. And you can see by the chest that I aim to fill every single one of them up. But continue to have something to work with. It is so good to be home. Let's close that door. Which reminds me, we also got to... I want to show you guys my house. I want to show you my house. So this right here is a place for another unit that we can dig into the mountainside. Oh yeah, I'm happy. This right here is a passage. It goes to the other side. We'll do that in a moment. And home. Oh, my front door was open. But what's my front door doing open for? Okay, here my bedroom. Got a little spindle in here so I can kick back and do some stuff and things. All right, we got, what is this? Ah, oh, food storage. Yes, but I don't want my food in there. I want it some. I want it in the. I want it back here. This is where I want it. So I got a chest hidden back here, and we could just plop all the storage stuff in there that we want. Actually, let's just stack that. And yeah, put some taters in there. Put that in there. Think of this as like a storage cupboard for your food. <laughs> That's what this is. All right. The only thing it's missing is having some different boxes like and on there. Like say it's all canned food or something. We got our cooking stove so we can cook in here. A place we can sit down and eat. Oh, yeah. Doing good. Doing good. All right. I'm happy to be back. And since we got a backup map, let's go ahead and put that inside here. Now, these crates, they can hold a lot of stuff. And this right here is our mining drill. <laughs> As you can see, yep, look at this. We can put some more plant life in there. Get that out of the way. Put our extra map in there by, while we're at it as well. There we go. This is goat pelts. It's for making leather. But, yeah, we got four pages worth of storage. We got a sword. Speaking of which, put that in there. I don't need that. Um, we got an axe. I forgot to leave that behind. Huh. Oh, well. Well, let's clear some of this out from up here while we're here. <laughs> I'm just happy to be back. 
it's been so long since we've been over here. And this week, we're going to be going back into build mode. Extra blocks. Yep. We got a hoe. We got a statue. That's a memorial statue, by the way. And we got all of these. You can see we got our knife. Actually, you can give me that. And I'm going to continue to bring you guys around. Now, don't worry about going that way. There really isn't much. It's just a staircase that goes up there. Um, I'm thinking about maybe we could add something in here, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, we do need some type of decor. I'm thinking of breaking this wall up right here. Somehow. You know, like, make it look like it's a little bit broken up. Because as it goes up, we're going to turn it into something solid. And then we'll get into the advanced building stuff. But for down here, yeah. Alright, so let's get downstairs. And this is the memorial courtyard. And this is the first statue. Well, the first... What the players used to look like in the beginning of the game. And what Red51 did was, is he made a statue of it for us. And so I built this little memorial for it. I think it looks nice. It does. One thing I would love to do is inside the bottom of this, if we had a tiny little storage thing, I would knock out right here and right there, and I would put a whole mess of water skins in there, or perhaps these things. We got two canteens. Huh. Okay. Well, speaking of which, we are getting hungry, thirsty. And Wilbur! Oh my goodness, you've been with us since the beginning and you're still here. Oh, so those of you guys that don't know, Wilbur, our friend, he has been here with us since the very first episode. If you guys want to watch that, hop up into the playlist, go back there, and you guys can see. He, is, he was stuck in the mountainside over here, and he just wouldn't leave. Even though I flatten this out for him, for him to leave, he would not leave us. He was there for us the whole time. He's like our little friend. And inside of here, this was our first crafting hall. Um, pretty nice, pretty straightforward. We probably got lots of material inside of here. <laughs> All right, so yeah, maybe a lot should say a lot, but uh, I think, what is this? Silver, silver, silver. See, we got even more ore in here. I gotta put this away. This shouldn't be here. We did have like six or seven records, but we kind of lost those. We got some samurai armor. Here, let me sh show you guys this. <laughs> All right, it's a tab, and show you this samurai armor. Oh <laughs> yeah! It doesn't really provide any protection. It's just there. Let's get our guy's clothes back on. There you go. Put your clothes back on, dude. Put your clothes back on. There you go. <laughs> And this down here is our mines. We mined all of this out. That's why you see that light. It's not a light at the end of the tunnel. It's just pretty much a glitch. Um, don't know why it does that with render distance, but it does that. Um, down here is our mine shaft that goes all the way down to bedrock. I mean, not bedrock. Um, there is no bedrock in this game, by the way. Um, there's just this, <laughs> it, it goes down deep and I'm not going to drag you guys down there, but I'm happy to be home. So happy to finally be back here. We got our first furnace chilling over here. Nothing inside of it anymore. Um, that move everything out of here. Nope. We still got stuff to move and we got sulfur as well. And this over here, this should be our, yep, 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 it's here. This is our leather shop. This is our tannery room. So this is where we build all, put all our leather at. You can see we got some leather. All right, we also got some bandages in here. I don't know why we got bandages in here, but let's go ahead and put this in there. Get our pelts in there, you know, get that stuff put away. Put that armor in there as well. 
Actually, my boots are off. Why are my boots off? Put those things back on. <laughs> so yeah, this right here is just basically for storing all of our uh, leather, creating leather and stuff and things. We got this over here. It's a loom. Um, we can make hemp fibers, cloth, and the cloth that's used. So if we go into armor, this is what I actually wanted to build. We needed 64 leather and 64 iron, and I really wanted this. It actually provides armor for you. This is the only type of armor that there is in the game. And we got a lot of hides that we got to make. Because if we need 64 of them, then that means we need four stacks of 64. So that's a lot of mobs to go kill. <laughs> and we end up with a lot of beef and pork and ribs and yeah. All kinds of food. I'm still not sure if they got venison in the game or not. Yeah, that's the honest to goodness truth. That's why I tried to hunt an elk last episode. Alright, this hallway over here. If we follow this out. I got doors on here for a reason. It keeps the glitchiness from happening because we drilled a hole through the mountain. This right here would take you out to where our first garden plot was. But uh, we're getting ready to move all of this stuff out of here. All of it. Um, here's my smoker. You can see we got all our plants in here. But I'm going to build plots for all these things. We should have a lemon tree. We should have apple trees. And we should have cherry trees. And oh, what's that? We got a fairy in the mountain, guys. <laughs> Yeah, so we got lemons, we got apples, we got cherries. I still need to find some other trees. I can't remember what they are. Um, I think there's another variant of a fruit tree. I can't think of what, the, what it is. So we're finally back home, guys. It's time for us to get building this week. But the fir first thing we're going to do for tomorrow, guys, is we are going to get we're going to rip all of these garden plants out of here. And we are going to go plant them and give them plots. So, where are we going to be doing this at? Well, let's see where, where we're going. Let's go see where we're going to go, guys. Let's get through here. Mm -hmm. There we go. And if you guys remember, I was telling you about that mountain pass up there. Well, let's go. It's the way that we should have came in, but for some reason we came in another way. I don't know. Now, this mountain pass right here is supposed to be like the entrance. Like the grand entrance from the outside world into here. Can we get up here? Yep. Alright. It's supposed to be like the grand entrance that comes in to the mountain to Scorpio Gulch. You can see I've done a lot of terraforming. Again, render problems. Uh, let's bring you guys all the way out to where we're going to be building these farms at. We're just going to follow this pass. Bring it all the way out. Because we got to test, take a look at our trees. Whoo! You see, i already done some flattening. Done a little bit of work over here. And here's all our trees, guys. Here's the tree farm. <laughs> we got maple and we got birch. And there should be some other tree types in here as well. Now, trees in this game, they do not fall like they would in any other type. All right. So let me see here. We do got this. Where are my pine trees I don't see them okay so we got poplar we got willow we got maple we got birch my pine trees I thought we had saplings for that nope not in there what's, what's in here Nothing. All right. 
Well, anyways, that's what I want to do, guys, for next episode, is I want us to uh, come out here, and I want us to start getting some garden plots started and get our stuff fixed. Yeah. So, take care, guys. Let's take ourselves a little bit of a nap. Oh, yeah. Later.